You gotta get a screen protector on that. This, bro, no way. You gotta fight off a random hiker. You right there. <laughs> bro, that tree looks like it's got a, a hot dog. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to be in the mountains when you lose daylight because skinwalkers skinwalkers and and my grandma comes out yeah she's in jail man yeah we have now entered the dark part of the forest oh no so bro yeah, bro, let's, bro let's keep going How are we looking? Dude, <laughs> I feel like you just ate a, a soft serve ice cream cone. Did I get everything? There you go. Dude, how do we know that water is clean though? Bro, I don't know. Hi, why you do welcome that? back. Um, <laughs> why am I in the mountains? Why did I have a mustache? Why is my head so- Whoa! <laughs> well, let's just say I went through a midlife crisis. <laughs> a midlife? <laughs> Honestly, I have gone through some stuff recently. Like, not crazy stuff, but just personal stuff. I went to New York the for a hair transplant. It didn't work out. So, hence the shaved head. Yup. Um, grew a mustache. I bought a car. I was in a talking stage with a girl. Kind of failed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's no one around. You should probably disconnect fully. Give me your phone. Yeah. Um, this is cracked, bro. Just be careful with it. You gotta get a screen protector on that. This, bro, no way. Bro. Um, but yeah, disconnect fully. Oh so my god. I hope you didn't have anything important on that. <laughs> Just a few things, <laughs> yeah. Let's go on the walk now, shall we? All right, well, let's do it. So you, uh, you gonna find my phone? No. <laughs> what? Yeah, let's, let's find it. You're like a cartoon character. Bro. Bro, do you got any rice? Why, bro, why are you washing it off more? This was dirty. Dude, what? It had a lot of dirt on it. That's crazy. Okay, it's not turning on, but I don't think you charged it, right? Dude. You Did gotta you charge it. Me. Yeah? Bro, that, that's not gonna help. It's not a TV remote. Don't hit it against oh, something. Dude, something fell out of it. Bro. Bro, that tree looks like it's got a, a hot dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? It's done. What? It's gone. Your phone's done. Can You're I? talking about what? Can I do it? You sure it's done? Oh my gosh. I'll buy you a new one. Bro, my camera. You'll buy me a new one? Yeah. Okay. All right, at least you'll buy me a new one. That one was getting kind of old anyways. And who needs memories, right? Who like, needs anything? Who, who needs photos, who videos needs that girl, you cherish? Who needs a mustache? Who needs yeah. Hair? All right. When I'm older, I want to have a thing called Freaky Tuesdays. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> like Halloween Freaky? I don't know, dude. Like, like. Like, like you go to a random neighborhood and hide in a bush and wait for a walker and you like, ah, and then you duck. <laughs> That's funny. When's the last time you've just gone on a nice little walk? Oh, bro, it has been a little while, huh? Yeah, it's been a while for me. Just like fully disconnecting. Yeah. And just kind of walking. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like I'm fully disconnected though. Yeah. But at the same time we're filming. <laughs> well, you made me disconnected. Yeah. That's my phone, you can't. Are you sure? Yeah. If you throw it, dude, we're lost. We're done. No, 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 look at that. Whoa, hey. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt the video like that. We're gonna get back to the video. Just, just pause for a second. I just wanna say something. I just went on a first date. <laughs> and we went skydiving. It was insane. It's on Instagram if you wanna see it, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. It was a crazy video, a uh, crazy experience because I've never gone skydiving and it's been a while since I've gone on a date. Um, Did it go well? I don't know, you'll have to see on Instagram. But yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just got excited and I wanted to say that. Let's get back to the video, okay? 
Um, here's some photos of me and her on the date. If you were uh, wondering or asking, and I know you probably were. Bon -on -bon -bon -bon. Who's that sexy man? That sexy man is me. Um, <laughs> This is me and my date right before the skydive. These are photos we're going to show our kids one day. You know what I'm saying? Look how nonchalant and chill I'm looking right before the skydive. Like, I don't even care. And this is me looking down right as I'm about to jump, pooping my pants. And this is probably the best photo I'll ever have of myself. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Uh, back to the video we go. Bro, like, what's in your backpack? You what, what's in the backpack? Off. Yeah. Said? Uh, just essential hiking things. Okay, right? like what? So we got a tripod, obviously, because we're filming. There you go. Do you know what this is? What is it? This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but in a circle. You've had this when you were younger, right? I Little have. throwback. Uncrustables are amazing. What else? Wait, what is that for? Dude, I, I don't think you meant to pack that, no. right? Um, I think he was like something. Um, yeah, so that, what else yeah. we got in here? Another one. You nice. And me. Hey, Another let's do it. Date with the homies. Yes, sir. Got to. What else do I have in here? Just like camera equipment. Pretty much, if you know me, um, I always bring a backpack everywhere. Mm -hmm. Notice that. And yep. I come pretty like. I have like everything I will need, like chapstick, everything. I can't live without the chapstick though. Yeah. I can't live without this. Oh, you always got that. That's I always that's got this. Preferred one. Huh. And here is a pocket knife that says my name. I got it at a souvenir store. So this pocket knife right here, I was young when I got this. Uh -huh. My mom did not want me to have it. Okay. Why? Moms just think of a million things. Oh yeah. To not tell their kid to have something. I got it anyways. My dad let me have it. And we got home and I was out in the yard. I had the knife open. And I was like cutting the grass. Yeah. But I didn't realize it was flipped over. So when I smacked it, it went like that. Yeah. And my finger was like that. And I like scissored ah. it in. So I had a deep wound. I was so afraid to tell my mom because she was going to be like, I told you so. Yeah. So I walked around my neighborhood with the open wound thinking of like, it didn't hurt at all. I was more scared of like my mom yelling at me. Yeah. Eventually just turned home and just went and I was like, mom. <laughs> pocket knife yeah and she freaked out i told you so they took this away from me they gave it back to me on my 16th birthday really I earned it cool man that's the story of the pocket knife um and i brought it because like when you're in the mountains you always got to have a pocket knife just in case yeah you got to fight off a random hiker you right there <laughs> who is that guy hey come back here come back where are you going where are you going huh Okay, well that's interesting. Anyways. Oh! What? What? Bro, that was you the whole time? <laughs> no! Anyways, <laughs> let's keep walking, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Because we're kind of losing daylight. That's yeah. the one thing. And you don't want to be in the mountains when you lose daylight. Because... Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers and, and my grandma comes out. No! <laughs> yeah, bro, you, you watch a lot of Mr. Ballin, huh? Yes. You really mess with Mr. Ballin. Any of you guys know who Mr. Ballin is? He's a... He's a guy on YouTube. Um, I actually knew him when I was making videos way back on TikTok. Like I knew him before he joined YouTube, like we were in a group chat, but he makes videos about talking about like strange, mysterious crimes or alien stories or anything like paranormal, like ghosts. But I love watching his stuff and he covers a lot of stuff about people in mountains mm. who just suddenly just go missing because yeah. of someone or something. Do you believe in ghosts and stuff, bro? Absolutely. You do? What about you? Yeah, I do. My mom apparently saw a ghost when she was younger. She couldn't sleep, so she went up to go to the bathroom. This is a true story too. Really? She went up and she just saw like some weird guy staring at her in the basement. What? But it's like, he was looking at her in a way where like she could tell he wasn't like a human. So she like went back in the room and just like Whoa. tried to go to sleep. And then her friend said, yeah, this house is like, there's something wrong. Whoa. Stuff happens to my mom here, like things go missing. Really? Crazy. Bro, I, I literally have goosebumps, bro. If you guys have never been to Colorado mountains, I highly suggest it. Oh yeah. And go with like family or friends. Yo. Or yourself. And just. Yeah, get a little solo trip in. Yeah, just, you gotta be old enough. Oh yeah. Or else you're not gonna come back like Brain Aunt, Brain Aunt Beth. <laughs> What's the story of Granny Aunt I'm Beth? I'm just kidding. I did have a great aunt who got struck by lightning in her room. Really? Yeah. How did that happen? She was in her room. It was like 
back then, like in the olden days, <laughs> like when they didn't even have microwaves. She was just in her Dang. room and the radio was on and lightning went into her Bro. window and struck her. And like, it was in the newspapers and like, it went out her legs, but she lived. She wasn't the same ever since and kind of passed down through generations. <laughs> no, yeah. You're pretty electric, dude. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, that's my friend Nick right there. Hey, he's so goofy. Hey, give me a That's my friend Nick. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely look like a frat boy. Bro, you look like Channing Tatum, dude. Like young Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum if he got girl. <laughs> you got him. Good. I feel like nothing tops this. Being in the mountains yeah. with your boy and having a That's right. circle Ooh. peanut butter jelly. Bro. Bro. I already took it before you oh, did that. Uh. Mm. 210 calories for love mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've told you guys this But I don't know why But my whole life I've just like hummed While I've eaten <laughs> I just hum while I eat I don't know why When I first met Lucas You didn't just hum while you ate You hum while like you drove and stuff <laughs> I and probably it was, still do Honestly that. it was kind of soothing mm. It wasn't even like annoying Like maybe you thought it was annoying Like uh it's just like I thought I annoyed other people. No, you didn't. It was honestly like just like a like white noise almost. I am curious to hear in the comments like if you guys have anything like that or know anybody like that, and if you have any uh, suspicions why. I have actually heard if you smell a lemon uh, when you feel like you're gonna throw up, apparently you don't throw up. Hmm. Smell like a lemon, lemon juice. We gotta tell that to Oliver. Yeah. Recently, we went on a plane oh. with Oliver, <laughs> and he threw up five times on the flight. We were coming from New York, and Lucas and I were sitting in front, mm -hmm. and we didn't know about any yeah. of it. Yeah. No, but the worst part was, like, on the flight, I was like, hmm, it smells like fresh food, like warm food. <laughs> and we, we had just ate Burger King before we got on the plane. So we're thinking maybe food poisoning, maybe just, like flight yeah shaking oh <laughs> i heard oliver's worst throw up story yeah what is your worst throw up story my mom at our old house my mom had a uh, a bathroom that she wouldn't let anyone but guests use but it was like on the main level we had two mm -hmm. bathrooms on the main level but mm -hmm. one of them was only for guests mm -hmm. but it was the nicest bathroom right and it was closest to my room at night so one time i had to throw up so i got up I waited too long before I had to throw up. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we're like, oh shoot, mm -hmm. I have to sprint. Mm -hmm. oh. So I sprint and the nearest bathroom is the nicest bathroom that my mom adores. The second I get in, it's like a movie scene. Like I bust in the door and right as I start to throw up, I slip. Oh. So I slip, oh. land on my back and throw up on myself. No. Yeah. That's my worst throw up story. What about you? Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know if you're ready for this one. So actually, wait, speaking no, of ready. Burger King, speaking of Burger King, I have a throw up st story oh. myself with Burger King. So my mom and I, I was about five years old. We were dropping off like a family friend at the airport. And I was like, you know what? I'll come with you if I have Burger King. I loved the chicken nuggets at the time because they were like in a crown shape. I don't know if they still are. Oh, what? Yeah. And it was like super special as a little kid. Huh. Ate my chicken nuggets. I was like, oh man, this is awesome. And then 10 minutes later, I'm like, mama, I don't feel good. But no, basically <laughs> we were leaving the airport and um, like, I think we were kind of like rushing me. Maybe we were trying to find a bathroom. And then all of a sudden I just throw up everywhere <laughs> on this floor. And I don't know if you guys have been to DIA, it's the Denver airport. But the, the floor is already kind of like a brownish, just kind of gross looking color. <laughs> yeah. And my throw up blended in perfectly. Oh. And so there was a man on a business call oh. who looked like he was late for his flight. Oh. And he ran <laughs> through the double doors. Oh. And as he kept running, I was on the side just throwing up. Oh. As he as he was running, he his wheels, his feet, everything went through my throw up. And he did <laughs> heels oh. overhead and smashed into my throw up. And my mom didn't know what to say. I was still throwing up. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he like picked up his phone. He's like, ah, it's all right. It's all right. And he just tried to shake it off. But as he was walking away, my mom saw the little crown shaped 
chicken nuggets in his hair no. on his suit jacket. Oh, so he didn't know that he slipped and throw up. He oh, I just, oh, he totally did. Oh, he but totally he didn't know did. it was like on him. Oh, dude, imagine the people on the flight around. That was probably the worst day of his oh, life. Oh, yeah. That's probably the worst story ever. It was pretty bad. I don't think anyone could top that for throw up. I, hey, That's crazy. Leave your stories in the comments. Let yeah. us know. Okay. That's, uh, That's reassuring. Let's mark something. Like, let's mark a tree. Like, this is the way to keep going. Okay. Just, I learned that in, in Cub Scouts and all because I've, you know. Okay, so what would you mark it with? I've been through the ringer. Let's just put another stick on it. Bro, here, how about we, like, mark... Um, would you be able to see that though? <laughs> on a tree? Bro, what if we like put like a little arrow like on the ground right there? Okay. I'll just type help. Yeah, yeah. No, bro, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We have now entered the dark part of the forest. Oh no. So bro. Yeah, you're messing. Bro, let's, bro. bro, let's keep going. Bro, we're good. It looks like a no, I'm being serious. Look. Bro, you gotta stop freaking me out. No, 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 I'm not freaking you out. Look. It looks like... Nice, <laughs> <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so, how have you felt since shaving it? Do you feel more confident or what? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I still haven't, like, gone out in public, like, to the really? gym or anything without a hat. Oh, without a hat. Okay. I think I'm just waiting for the hairline to come back in because mm. he shaved kind of my hairline a little weird because yep. that's where he was gonna put in hairs i don't know like i let go like i i could wake up yeah and just get like ready quickly and you look the same yes um that's the best i just feel a little bit more like confident with it because it's like all right i don't have any hair yeah so i gotta like you know embrace other embrace parts because it, it's gonna be like this for a while you know oh yeah one thing is it's harder to talk to like girls for me really yeah mm. like or explain to them like why i have a shaved head because maybe some of them are into it yeah oh 100 percent, dude tori thinks you look like the guy from hunger games yeah but yeah you shaved your head too i did way so back in the day same experience a little bit like more confident yeah. more just like uh bro so you're getting people coming up to you more mm -hmm. recently uh they're saying oh man it's nick it's nick uh, you've had like a lot of those interactions. Yeah. I'm curious, like what, which one stands out to you most? And you know, I guess the, the preface, preface by saying like, you know, they're all great. I'd say it's recently. So I went to New York for the transplant. Yeah. But before the transplant, we had a day in New York where we just walked around and I've never been in New York before. We were in like Times Square. Um, we, actually we were walking to Times Square and we were looking for pizza. Yeah. And I passed by a kid and immediately he it didn't even take him a second like it was at him it was just, yeah he looks up and just goes nick wilkins yeah and I'm like, Yo, so what's cool. up? and he's the coolest kid ever his family's awesome but just to me that was insane like oh, all yeah. he needed was that tiny little glimpse of me and i Yo, think i had a hat too you so did. it was like more unrecognizable i had his youtube written down he's got a youtube channel yeah oh here it is uh, do you guys see that? Nate Skr. Nate Skr. Nate Skr. Shout out Nate Skr. Yup. Cool kid. My dream and like goal with social media has been to like inspire people. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I could do that if I wanted to. Like Nick's doing it. Oh, I yeah. Wanna do that. I want to film my life. Like I don't edit my videos like super crazy. Oh, I just yeah. kind of throw it together. And it really is all about my life. But like, I think the goal in mind is just to inspire people people that do the same thing like film your life too so for somebody who would be inspired to like make their own videos like yeah what's what is your biggest piece of advice for them okay here's like the biggest piece of advice i know it sounds weird but like the people who are gonna judge you the most or talk mm -hmm. about it to you the most are gonna be like your family and friends yeah but they're not like super judging you like you think it's more of like um, maybe they don't fully understand what's going on yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, they're kind of questioning it like, oh, you sure you want to do that? Like maybe in their head, they maybe wanted to do it too at some point, mm -hmm. but they're maybe trying to give you a little like, eh, like pushing you along because it's like, oh, he's actually trying to do it. Let me tease him a little bit. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, I've realized making videos every day that people actually do not care as much as you think they do. Yep. 
they just find it and at some point all of a sudden they're like they find it cool too yeah like maybe your biggest haters will become your biggest like supporters too because maybe they're watching you from the beginning like i've had yeah. haters out there who now kind of watch my stuff every day you yep. know 100%. So I don't know. That's the biggest piece of advice. Like people don't care as much as you think. Yep. Getting a little crate bag. It is going to look The Mr. Ballin stories are coming out yeah. in my head right now. I'm thinking of like five oh, crazy yeah. stories. Bro, should I tell one? Like one that I remember. Oh, a quick one? bro. I don't know if we should do it out here. We should at least... I'll tell, I'll tell <sighs> one. So there was like okay. a, a mom who took her kids out. No. Um, Where? A little getaway. In the mountains, I don't. Dude, I don't why think does it, it here. bro? Can you do one on like the beach or no, something? No, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Oh and my gosh! The kid turned out like the mom went to the camper real quick. Yeah. Came back and the kid is gone, like and it's like a two year old. <sighs> so how can a two year old go that fast? So she's thinking like <sighs> someone took my kid or something, or like an animal. Yeah. And the kid was never seen again. And some police officers looked back into it like years later mm. and it came across some reportings that um they saw like some hikers on the same day in the same area saw what looked like someone in a bear costume no with holding a kid like on no, the back bro. like in a bear costume bro. and they were running all fours they they thought it was a bear costume it could have been anything and that's bro ugh. bro that story always gets to me bro dude you know what the creepiest feeling is what like that there could just be something out here just watching us like not not gonna do anything to us but could just be out there watching us you know what I mean? yeah that's pretty scary but what if it does want to do something to us i got my pocket knife in my backpack yeah there you go. i'll tell him to give me a little bit and i'll get it out and fight him there you go <laughs> if we don't make it back i want to tell you a secret all right what is it you know that toothbrush you used on a trip? What? You said it tasted weird? Get out of here, what? What happened? I used it to get dog poop off my shoe. No, you didn't, bro. No, you didn't. <laughs> I have a secret to tell you. What? Um, back at the cabin, when I was cleaning dishes after dinner, they didn't have a scrub brush, and uh, the garbage disposal stopped. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you yeah, I did, bro. <laughs> so you got a bunch of nasty food That's why food it on tasted there. good, like chicken. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Got some chicken Alfredo for dinner. You hear that? We did. Yeah, bro. Oh. Yup, I'm excited for that. Bro, did you hear that? Bro, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was freaky. I don't know what that was. You hear that? There's like no cabins out here except for one, and you just feel like, oh god. Yeah. Just listen. Bro, do you think he's working with us? Mm -hmm. He could just hear us and be like, what if you like see something? Yeah, bro. That's, well, good thing we're back at the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we made it back to the cabin. Yeah. Um. So Nick Wilkins will live another day. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ew. Why do you sound like that? Because it's good. Thank you for making this, Mom. Oh, that's crazy. Thanks, Mom.